Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing well. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you had a great end of your year and a really good start to 2024. Happy New Year. I've been pretty busy here at home myself, but it feels good to be back in front of the camera and kind of, you know, interacting with you all again. And with that all being said, I have my first unboxing of 2024. So go ahead, grab a refreshment, grab a snack and stay tuned. My current carry for the past like two or three months, it's been a while now, maybe even more than that, is my Speedy B25 in the Empreinte leather. I do have some thoughts on this bag after wearing it over and over again for months. I occasionally switched out of it to get into something smaller if I had to go to the mall and do some last minute shopping, which I was doing a lot of at the end of last year. I would just switch into a smaller bag, but I would always come back to this. So. I'm looking forward to doing my review on that soon and I'm kind of waiting for the snow. I'm looking outside. <laughs> I'm kind of waiting for the snow to die down a little bit. We have been getting pounded with snow. I think we recently got nine inches. The sun wasn't out for a week and everybody here was just really cranky and on edge, but the snow is starting to let off a little bit and the sun is out today. It's a beautiful day outside. Um, so once the snow stops, I am looking forward to finally being able to carry my Florentine satchel. I bought this used, but it still had the tags on it. So I don't think that this bag has ever been carried out. So I'm just waiting for the snow to die down and the rain to kind of let off a little bit because this is all Vaqueta leather and this specific color is called natural. I just don't want it to get a bunch of water spots or I don't want snow to fall on it and then it get ruined. So. I will always have one of these in my collection. I don't know why I'm just always so drawn to this bag. I know it's a fall color, but it's still beautiful enough that you could rock it all year long. So I'll be moving into this soon. Without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. This specific item it came from Timmy at Yellow Sparks Joy. Timmy, thank you so much for putting this up for sale. I'll go ahead and have her channel linked down below. She is a handbag lover, just like all of us here, and she does incorporate some fashion and styling into her videos as well. So I'll have her channel linked down below so that you can check it out. Let's go ahead and open it up. I'm trying to maneuver the package perfectly so that you don't see the shipping label. But here's the item. I hope it's facing the right side. It is. <laughs> when does that ever happen, right? Um, it was upside down, but here's the item here. It says St. Laurent in the box. Here's the item. In the box, we've got all of the tags. This is like even the little insert that comes in the wallet when you buy it brand new. All of the paperwork, the ribbon, and the like style number right here. So here's its little dust bag. And oh my gosh, I love it already. She wrapped this up really well, which I always appreciate. There's nothing more heartbreaking than when you spend so much money on a luxury item and it comes wrapped funky or it's bent in a corner or you know something like that so i really appreciate that she went through the extra link to wrap it oh my goodness here is the wallet it is so beautiful i love this color i have wanted one of these in this color for the longest now Red is known to ward off bad vibes, bad energy. It's more of a Hispanic thing, if you know, you know, but it also symbolizes the lunar year and things like that. So I have some other pieces that are in red. I love to carry red things inside of my purse, especially when it comes to my money or my medication or things like that. I always feel like red is kind of a protective color, but this red is so vibrant and gorgeous and it is in like new condition. I didn't want to pay the amount of money that it cost to buy it retail. So I was looking for it for about a year ago. I was looking for this used and I just kind of gave up on it because I couldn't find it or I couldn't find it in the condition that I wanted it in. So I snatched this baby up. Let's go ahead and turn you guys around so we can get up close with this. So here it is up close. Look at that, how beautiful. This is in like new condition. 
It looks so good. This is what they call their small envelope wallet. It is in the color Rouge Opum or Red, and it comes in grained leather. Their leather is so durable. I don't know if you could hear that, but I love how they green their leather and the finish that it gives off. It almost looks like it's like wet. It's so shiny and beautiful. Looking up close at the hardware, we have this beautiful YSL gold tone hardware. It does feature a snap closure like that. It says Saint Laurent Paris on it. And there's the other side. Looking at the back, you have one slip compartment back here. And then once you open the wallet, it says Saint Laurent again there, and you have one main compartment here with four credit card slots inside. It measures 5.3 inches across, 3.7 inches in height, and 1.2 inches in depth. Now what I really like about this wallet that other compact wallets don't feature is the width of it. I can really appreciate that. Here I have the Maison de Sabri compact wallet. This is comparable to Louis Vuitton's um, Zippy coin purse, I think it is. But if you see, if I put them next to each other, you can see that you have almost an inch here. The reason why this matters is because when you open this, you've got lots of compartments, right? You have a slip compartment in the middle, you have two here, two here, and two big compartments. But you can only put a card inside the corner of the gusset so you can only do that you can only put so much in these corners maybe two three cards max but if you wanted to fill this compartment more you would have to put your card in sideways like this and then it closes so you would have a few cards like this up against the back and then you would have to put your other cards sideways and when you open it it just can get a little bit confusing and that's where this extra inch on the side here comes into play. So, if you go ahead and just open this up, you can drop in your card and you can still close it. And the folds here won't hit your card, so you won't have to put it in sideways. And the opening here is pretty generous. As you could see, I can probably get it out to a little bit more than an inch. I wouldn't do that, but just to let you know what the capacity is of it. So your cards fit nicely in there. You don't have to do this whole sideways or stack them up against the back or against the front like you have to here, if that makes sense. The way that I plan on using this slip compartment is to probably put my ID in here and either my debit card or you know one of the credit cards that I use the most, just so that I don't have to open the flap to access it. And when you put your card in there, it looks like that. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little shake test. It does not come out and it doesn't even move. So you have the peace of mind <laughs> that this is not going to just fly out at the first chance. I'm curious to see how many cards I can fit in here because you have a larger opening up top, but you also, it kind of like tapers down at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and put all the cards that I can in here and let's see what we can fit. And I'm happy to report that everything that fits in my Louis Vuitton slim purse also fits in this wallet, which is really cool. I wasn't expecting that. I have my ID and my debit card back there for easy access. Again, does not come out. It still stays nice and snug in there. When I open it, I was able to fit, obviously, two cards here, two cards here. If you fold your cash in half and you stand it upright, it won't get wrinkled or broken. If you close it like this, it stays nice and crisp. So I've got some bills in here. And then in the middle, I was able to fit nine cards. When I close it, it doesn't look overstuffed. I'm pretty sure I can put more in there. I just don't want to do that right now. I'm really surprised that all of this fit in here. 
And with that, we are going to go ahead and wrap up the first unboxing of 2024. I hope that you enjoyed it. I am so happy with this beauty. If you have this in your collection and you're enjoying it, um, or if there's anything that you're not liking about it, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to go ahead and just stay in this wallet since I've already moved in it and just throw this in the speedy. If you have any questions, maybe there's something that I forgot to mention, please ask me in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.